All right, morning, welcome back to Ads Coy. Um, got the weekend off, so you know what time it is. Um, yeah, I think the digging's done. It's got to be, it's just got to be done. Um, right, let me spin you around. Let's, uh, let's do this. All right, I just thought I'd show you before we start. <sighs> yeah, you get where I'm coming from. That's a carnage. Um, right, yeah, a few things. Um, I've got a roof. Some little wood storage. Yeah, I'll whack the roof up there just to uh, keep this wood dry because this, uh, this thing leaks like a sieve. Um, right, today what I'm going to do is get this ply. So I'm going to ply the inside of the sleepers. Um, don't know if I've got enough, but I'll at least get the windows edges done and I've got one two three four five of those and um, this is my damp proofing stuff so um, low from the French connection time to get this bamboo root stuff which I ordered and then disappeared Amazon usually pretty good but um, so I went down to the garden center and got this bloke said it's really good and it's like thicker than that PVC pond liner so um, what they use for building foundations and stuff like that so that'll go in there and anyway, let's have a look at the uh ponds this is what i didn't want this mud i'm trying to take different routes to the pond like, <laughs> every time it's just mud everywhere carnage carnage right there's me big old um oh. Right, close your eyes, you're gonna get seasick and we'll jump in quick. Oh god. Right, we're in. Right, this is where I'm at. So you can see the depth. I've had to look, let's get down here. I hope you can see. That's that's nearly imagine them sleepers are eight hundred mil. Two, four, six, eight, yeah, eight hundred mil. Look how much I've done. It's gotta be at least six hundred more down um it's quite neat now i know what's neat it up it's not nice and flat it's really hard to see this zoom out a bit um yeah down this edge a lot of digging I've been digging for like a month i'm not joking on, on and off of course but um uh this is really untidy at the back the reason being if you didn't know watch my last few videos it's because I moved this sleeper forwards. Um, so what I'm saying is, if I go around the back, you can see there's a gap there. There's a little duckling, hello mate. Um, <laughs> it's a gap there, so, um, yeah, so I can't get it totally straight at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna leave it for now because once you take away, you can't put back when it comes to this mud. So I want to figure out what way the bottom drain is going to be going. So I don't know, it might be going straight out. It could be going that way. I don't know. Um, yeah, and then what I'll do, I'll um, probably blank this off and then I might have to dig down the back to put the con I'm going to put concrete in there, mate, like a retaining wall. Get that. So board that board from there down to the ground. Obviously get away some of the extra mud and then uh, concrete the back. Just got to try and find a route in. Um, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm down here, right? I can't know if you can see it, right. Look at that. This giant curb stone found. I couldn't get through, I was like, what is that? It weighs an absolute ton. I mean, it's so deep down there. I swear I heard a conversation in a foreign language. I must have hit something. Um, yes, yeah, so I've still got some brackets to put on. Um, I have used the old rusty ones um, as well as, uh, I mean, they're all right, they're still solid. But um, yeah, so a few brackets in there. I might, so the rebar's done, but I might stick these in as well. These are, um, focus, 300 mil screws. So look, if you 
that go through there and like halfway through another just for some extra support. But I mean, these are solid. Um, yeah, also, I was gonna say, um, oh yeah, I wanna give it a, uh, a little, just to protect the sleepers a bit on the inside. Um, I'll probably paint that. I'm gonna get that done. So what the idea is, this is probably a better, better wall to work on. The idea is ply this from here at this point down to about here, maybe an overlap it a bit, just get rid of this gap. Um, and then put the damp proofing on. In fact, no, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll put the damp proofing on first with a staple gun, but because staples are a bit dodgy and they can come out and pierce your liner, then I'll, I'll put the ply to hold on the uh, the damp proof and stuff that probably go down to there um and then then when, then when i do this re, this root stuff and to get rid of this root stuff i can just fold the damp proofing up because I, I need to sort this out this ain't good um yeah right let's uh it's peeing rain but it's the only time i've got so oh skimmer's not actually in <laughs> i was just trying to remember what the uh how high it sits above the uh, sleeper, but um, yeah. Right, anyway, party on. So I nearly forgot, um, this bamboo, this is my five foot mark. Um, it's a five foot stick. Um, if, you're, if, you're reading, if you're watching this with subtitles on, I said stick, S-T-I-C-K. Um, <laughs> so um, yeah, definitely, so it is. There's your bottom, and then that's five foot. Um, yeah, it's obviously not all even the ground, so it's probably be a bit more well, a bit out here. Yeah, it's pretty much pretty much there. Right, well, anyway, let's crack on. Right, I absolutely detest painting. It's so boring. 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 Yeah, absolutely hate it. Right, well, there's one layer of uh, protection coating, if you like. Well, you ain't gonna do much. It's just mentally, I'd just, uh, you know, I'd rather have it on than not. Um, yeah. Right, I've got to go and drop my son at work because it's uh, peeing rain. I don't want him walking in that. So, uh, quick pop out and I'll be back on it. Cheers, guys. Um, second thoughts. I've just realised that I'm stuck in here now because all the paint and <laughs> I can't get out without getting covered in paint. What's a map it? I oh, just have to uh, dive out, backflip or something. Um, it's nothing worse than painting, is there? Oh, there is actually digging. One more thing I forgot to mention. Um, my neighbour's given me these jumbo sleepers. I've got four of them, two and up, two point four meters. So uh, well chuffed with them. I think they're coming handy now later on. Um, about sixty quid online each. So yeah, bargain. Right, so all I'm doing here is um, just measuring the the width and um, just using the creases that the f the folds came, you know, factory creases where it's been folded, and then cutting. Right, okay, so that's all the damp proofing on now. Um, yeah, just a word of advice. If you, um, so I'm going box weld liner, so this applies to me as well. Um, you don't want this stuff manipulating the shape of the liner, so 
what I'll have to do later on is do some diagonal cuts because otherwise you're gonna, you know, you're gonna get end up getting creases. Um, especially if you're going with PVC, you'd um, yeah make sure that's all f nice and flat. We're just gonna have extra folds. Um, yeah, not the neatest job in the world, but it's uh, yeah, don't mean. I don't know what I want to put on the floor yet, mind you. Um, could use the same stuff, but I um, don't know, maybe we'll see about that. Um, well, it's a long way up when you're nearly down. Uh, <laughs> right, anyway, let's get on with this. Uh, see if we can get the ply done on the windows. Um, I'm just going to go around putting more screws in these brackets while I can. Because I've only got uh, four, five screws in these, so a few more screws. Um, <laughs> and I've done enough brackets <laughs> so paranoid about it, it's just caving in I mean, it ain't moving but it's got a lot of water pressure on there anyway yeah let's get this ply done cheers guys well, I've got the ply all marked up now so I'm just going to uh, whip it with my 1980s skill saw um I don't even know it's going to work. I mean, it's literally dying on me. And blade's never been changed. Um, so yeah, well, let's cut all these up. Then I'll, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you. Cheers. Right, guys, I had to stop the uh, time lapse because, in true ads coy fashion, I wasn't looking. I'm using the garden table as the uh, as a bench. But, uh, whoops! <laughs> oh dear! I think that's going down the uh, it's going down the dump tomorrow. I think. God's sake! Oh, it's crap on. Oi, oi! Hope you're still with me. Um, I think I'm going to call it a day. I'm starting to make mistakes and that's usually because you're doing too much um i haven't this ply i haven't um cut it you can see that but i'm gonna have to notch it out because obviously the uh the galvanized brackets are coming out of here aren't they so i'm not have to do notches on that or yeah um yeah, I'll have to figure that one out. Um, probably just going to whack a few more screws in and then I'll uh, have to call it a day. Uh, I've got a lot, I've, I've got quite a lot done. I've been out there since nine. It's nearly three o'clock now. So um, anyway, I'm going to go in. I've got a couple of shout outs to do actually. And then um, this will probably wrap up part five. Um, I've got to clean up and I was just crap absolutely everywhere. All right, cheers guys. All right, good evening. All right. Uh, never underestimate what a hot shower can do for you. Oh God, literally I was putting bloody mud out of my fingernails and everything. I mud in my ear. Um, anyway, yeah, so I um, just want to do a few shout outs. Um, I don't know there's going to be another video this year. So if I don't see you, have a great one. Have a great Christmas and, um, you know, enjoy yourself before we... Uh, the inevitable happens, I reckon the old, uh, let's call it rock down, yeah, because I'm just sick of hearing that. But anyway, anyway, so I've got the uh, the book of love because I've had to write all these down. So um, now I can't find it. Well, yeah, so I've got a few, few shout outs to do. Um, I'm gonna start out with some of the, the newer channels, or you know, with, with the lesser subs. You know, need a little boost. I, you lot helped me out when I was on like 10, 20, 30 subs. You know, so uh, first one is uh, is local to me, Phil G. So check him out. I think it's only out the road. I think it's I think it's Devonshire or something. You said, um, but yeah, he's um, Actually, Phil, yeah, you should get in contact with me. I've got my email address because I, I definitely want to do a pond visit to you if I can. In the summer, maybe. Spring, summer. Um, all right, the next one is 
Sharpies Koi, which is um, he's just doing his um, just trying to do his filtration and um, what's he doing? Yeah, he's putting a Nexus uh, filter house, doing a good good job in the old filter house, yeah, um, to his existing pond. Um, yeah, check him out. I've been been watching his videos, I've been enjoying them. Uh, next one is Keeping It Koi. Um, recently had a nightmare with a fry. He's, um, respect to him, though. He's stayed up till two in the morning to make sure he sorted that problem out. So, you know, loads of respect there. You know, get the job done. Um, got another one here. Uh, Dorset Koi. Always comments on my videos. Only three videos on his channel at the moment, but I'm, I'm assuming he's going to make a lot more. Uh, we've got lovely ponds. Um, so, yeah, please check that one out. Uh, and two that maybe don't need the, the sub help, but you know, it's not just about subs, it's about, you know, it's about appreciation. Um, sorry, it's free, sorry. Number three. Um, low magro at the French Koi Connection because um, the amount of effort, you know, that quiz was short, but she had to email, you know, 25 different people. So, I mean, half of them strangers. I mean, well, yeah, I mean, I'm a stranger to Lowe, you know. It's, you know, we talk on YouTube and that. It's, uh, that's a, she's put a lot of evidence. She's got to crop all the photos, you know, just to give everyone else entertainment. And uh, I think there needs a lot of respect for that. So, uh, yeah, so that's for Low there. And um, channel that I only found about a month ago. It's mental how these channels appear. It's like they've got like 50 videos, but you've not seen one. I know, I'm subscribed to about 100 YouTube channels. And, um, uh, is uh, Eden Koi. I just love the way he, uh, you know, recycles materials. You know, he's he's pretty arty. And um, yeah, he's got a cracking pond as well. So, uh, and last but not least is someone I'll probably talk about quite a lot because he only lives up the road. But, I, you know, I, I think I take him for granted because I, I talk to him, I ask him questions all the time. I'm probably doing his head in, to be honest. Um, obviously, because I'm on the rebuild and that. So, like... Um, yeah, I'm always like, what's happening? Going, oh, this and this and this. And I, I never really mention him. Like, um, it's uh, Danny's Koi Pond. So uh, cheers, mate. I do appreciate it. And I know I owe you a few favours, all right? So, um, yeah, well, that's, that's it for now. You know, um, like I say, I'm not YouTube royalty, but I mean, I'm sure I can help you out a little bit. Uh, well, hopefully. Um, so, check out the fire. I just, I just, oh, the other thing, I've just been looking underneath the Christmas tree, right? And there's nothing that looks like the shape of a bottom drain. And she, she, she needs to scare her out together. I'm telling you, I'm not having it. I told her I want a bottom drain. I don't care if they're 170 quid. That's what I want. Um, I'm assuming that's in transit. Holy best be. Um, yeah, so we don't see you. Um, yeah, have a great one. See you later.